The story here on IU's campus now making headlines nationwide, from the New York Times to the Washington Post, after strong words from a university leader aimed at Professor Eric Rasmussen and his alleged words. In a two-page letter this week, the provost said Rasmussen has, quote, for many years used his private social media accounts to disseminate racist, sexist, and homophobic views. Among the accusations, the belief that women don't belong in the workplace or academia, and that gay men shouldn't work in academia either. Reaction has been swift online, and even on the side of this Bloomington Bridge, from students and faculty, I think it's embarrassing and it's really unfortunate. Um, you know, the evidence that he's wrong is all around us. Most of my professors here have been women and they're some of the smartest people I know. Despite calls to fire him, the university says it won't and can't. It's free speech rights and he has the right to say what he wants as a private citizen on Twitter. Uh, but we also have the right to disagree. A school spokesperson says they are allowing students concerned about bias to transfer out of Rasmussen's classes. Professor Rasmussen? We reached him by phone. Would you describe yourself as racist or sexist or homophobic? No, I would not. Now you can call me on that. The tenured professor on campus since 1992 says he's conservative and that he believes his words have been twisted. I believe it's taking something else I wrote and then saying if he believes this, then he must believe that. Rasmussen told me he's created a website to respond to each of these allegations in detail. We've linked that to this story online at WTHR.com. In Bloomington, Dustin Grove, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Dustin, thank you. Now, IU is also taking action with something called double-blind grading for Professor Rasmussen's classes. That means you will not be able to see whose assignments he's actually grading. All right.